welcome again to our studio. Thanks um, for I having me. I don't we start this conversation from, like, um, should we do it from a throwback to a... <laughs> Um, yeah. what it is and now, now and think of the future or the future we'll see well it's 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 all good though um how busy have you been in the past couple of days or weeks what have you been up to so far <laughs> well i have an event coming up so oh, yeah um, i'm a nervous wreck mm. i am a busybody mm -hmm. but it all comes together so it's all part of the process but what what does a... it take to prepare you for what goes into preparing you psychologically emotionally for you know, when you have to hit the stage for your event, for a concert? Oh, for my event, it starts from the, well, I'll give it a day or two after the last one is done. Mm. As in the last, especially experience with Anna Hamilton is done. Mm -hmm. When it's someone else's event, I'm praying, I'm, mm. I'm worried, I am nervous, I'm all that. But with experience all year round, mm. things are running through your mind. What can we do? How are we going to have a perfect day? Mm. And then what songs are we doing again? Who else are we having mm. on the bill? Um, who's doing what? Budget. Mm. Who's doing what? Sound, lighting, da, da. Everything is coming together. Then on the day, who's coming? Tickets, attendance. Mm. So you can imagine. All year. Have you, have you ever had... A break down like you know if you want to confess to us like a breakdown mm -hmm. on one, one point in time where you were like you know what i don't think i'm ready for this oh not that kind but there are days you are like you are so tired you feel sick mm. Mm. like just just yesterday actually i had a rehearsal mm. and i think i when we're going like but even my home for me and my home for me i'm not too well and so in his head he said i was you know he was worried I got there and I took the mic and I was a different person. Mm -hmm. So, yes, it can be very exhausting, very nerve-wracking, mm -hmm. you know, but giving up? Nah. Mm -hmm. Nah. Mm -hmm. Is it difficult to be a Dinah Hamilton? This is all I know. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you know what I mean? I, somebody asked me, is it, I have twins, and yeah. they say, we hear twins are difficult, and I tell them, it's all I know. So I can't oh, compare it with anything. anything else. So this is this is me, you know. So I can't compare it with anything else. And this is life for me. And I absolutely love what I do. Yeah. So it doesn't come to me as a job. Mm. I think the moment I say this all the time that the day, what's your favorite food? Hey, hmm, Tell if me. I say it, okay, please. When I say you laugh, so I, let me give you the history real quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready, yes, yeah. so, please. You know what? So I love plantain. Okay, I, ha I love rice, okay. boiled rice, mm -hmm. and granite soup. Okay. And then the, uh, my, my elder brother would chop a little fry plantain. In the peanut soup with. You no, know, we'll put it like in two slices of plantain. On the side to, to garnish, garnish it. it. And then I started liking the plantain in the soup and I, I ignore the oh, rice. Oh, that's a proper so, mushy, mushy. So you get, you get where I'm coming from. If I just yeah. told you I like plantain and granola soup, granola soup, you're like, what kind of All right. But so I started liking it. <laughs> I started liking the, 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 right. the granola soup and the plantain. Yeah. So I, I took out the rice. Okay, so now you like what? Plantain and granola soup? Yes. It's nice. Mm. I can eat that Monday, right, we'll leave Tuesday. that there, but Wednesday, the point I'm Thursday. trying to make, okay? <laughs> 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 the point I'm trying to make is you love that food. Yeah. But the moment somebody tells you, eat this food and be paid, you oh, might not like it that way okay. anymore. Okay, 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 I get where you're going. Eat that food and be paid. You then might it not becomes like work. it. It becomes work. work. A beflon. Yeah. A beflon. And so yeah. I, 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 I enjoy this. Yeah. And to me, it's not a job. Uh. Yeah. They say, um, gospel artists, and I want to find out this, like, I am totally naive about this. Okay. Does a gospel artist have to be creepy <laughs> to be a gospel artist? What is oh, creepy? Sorry, we are in, we are, we are in uh, our, on, on our HR form, we're told that we, we are supposed to be Gen Z. You <laughs> what know, is Gen Z? Gen Generation Z. Z. Yeah. 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 We are supposed to be today. So, so I, went, the, the I, went, I was in Morningstar yesterday, uh -huh. and I was like, is anybody here that are B? They're like, no, it's DB now. I'm like, what, what changed? When did that happen? Okay. <laughs> They're like, oh, no, we, we do DB. So what, what's that? The names um, are Chris getting me? shorter. <laughs> yeah. Chris, Chris. So I should say so Chris, Chris. Right? Oh, Chris. I know. Um, what is the gospel? The gospel is speaking about Jesus Christ, him crucified, him birthed by a virgin, mm -hmm. lived as a man, crucified, mm -hmm. died. Three days later, woke up, ascended to heaven, sent us the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. 
you have to feel it for for you to be able to sell your music mm -hmm. you have to sing it from a real place mm -hmm. regardless of what music you're doing for you to be able to communicate it you can only fake it to a point mm. and so as if you're singing gospel which is christ mm -hmm. him glorified exalt you need to know him mm -hmm. so does this go to answer we were having a conversation off your back before you go way before you go here okay. like two days three days ago about gospel artists and uh their collaborations oh. with there i know but i'm not gonna ask you that oh. Oh. i'm not asking <laughs> that but I'm, also, I'm just coming i'm just throwing it okay. to my team that yes. would there be a reason would that could that be a reason why no um, you should ask it uh, i'm asking you no but i'm not uh, a gospel but, artist. Ah, but you said you're not gonna ask me so i take that yes, so and i you. run with you it know, you know that, <laughs> she should be answering is that why the lifestyle because maybe the lifestyle mm -hmm. of a secular artist might not be what we would not might not warrant that collaboration because mm -hmm. like the but church who, might who is judging the lifestyle no, asking, that's why i want her to answer see, i'm actually, I'm actually to asking answer. he I'm signed it that he wasn't going to ask it and i have uh, accepted that actually asking her uh, is it, is it he's actually so asking i am you. not <laughs> answering this question uh, it's a kind of worm i don't want to open i know i know you it's, know it's, but does he offend people who? um like does he offend people like you're saying you don't want to answer the question is it a question that offends people when you speak maybe your truth or oh, your opinion I, I say it. this all the time that it's not a topic that has come for discussion it's mm. not something that i it's I've thought one. about and mm. um it, when it comes on the table i'll discuss it this, mm. this is this has been my answer through and it's not something we we sit up down to discuss um who's who you're going to collaborate with who you're going to do this with mm. uh -huh. i like to leave it there but I, I don't think i even noticed that i do a lot of collaborations I, I don't off the top of my head i can't even remember any at this point mm, she's looking at you. um <laughs> yes i don't think diana does collaborations like me too no, look I, at my yes, face yeah. i'm looking at his face yeah. <laughs> I don't think that even the one that it was a performance what uh, you did with Jometa for three music it was a performance it was not a collaboration so you are so not you're not you're not following me well enough it's to tell me remind me because I've forgotten so I've done a collaboration with a young lady called precious uh -huh. oh maybe that's why we don't know I did a collaboration with a Nigerian that's called Wale Awolula uh -huh. mm. I did one with a South African okay uh -huh. I have done one with Akese Brimpon. Mm -hmm. Is that out? Yes. Mm -hmm. I've not heard that. I have a lot in the pipeline. Mm -hmm. so, so you see, I'm not lying. The whole of Ghana is just one person. Prince Lao, Prince, oh, is Precious, Precious is a Ghanaian. We don't know her. You She's don't like, know her. Uh -huh, you see, it's not like a name that you, 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 I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, mommy, yeah, bro, miss, so it's an everybody's status. Is it? See? Where are we? Where are we? Where so, are you know, we? I was on a platform. Uh -huh. I was on a platform and somebody was talking about another person. And um, the person said, who is he? How come I don't know him? <laughs> and I said, well, somebody will say the same about you. So, <laughs> let, you know, it's, it's like that. Mm. You, you, not everybody will know you mm. in the same way you wouldn't know everybody. Yeah. True. But Precious has over 200,000 views, 300,000 views. Wow. Wow. No, we're it's just fun. expecting to hear the regular names that we're yeah. used to. That's why I was saying that. And maybe yeah. that's why it's not, you know, sticking. Mm. You know, if you had said, oh, uh, uh, like I said, the performance, I still remember that, mm -hmm. even though it was just a performance. I remember that I saw Dinah and Joe on the same stage. Mm -hmm. So if it was a collaboration with an everyday name, it would have been easier. Ah, you know, that's what I'm saying, that is that everyday out? Name no, even. because I can see I should have yeah. heard, but yeah, that's why I asked you whether it's out. It's on his album. It, but wasn't, then a, it again, wasn't a song he pushed to. Then again, it's convenient to ask you, why is it almost looking like a difficult thing for you? Or is it almost like I have mentioned about no, I'm talking about every 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 so every day. Not, people. Okay, so I'll tell you what happens. Mm. I don't live in Ghana. Mm. Oh, we never knew this. Oh, you never knew that. Oh, well, I knew see, that. I hey. don't know that people I collaborate with. He, he doesn't, doesn't know, know where I, I live. live. Oh, you <laughs> see, <laughs> no, listen. That, look, I, I see you perform on Ghanaian stages. Hmm. I mean, like I can every only other assume, weekend, every weekend. Yeah. I can only assume that you are you are no, you are here. Yeah. So I don't live here. I'm very traditional woman. too. And I believe that music is a spirit. She I live in the, the UK. UK. She she's just UK. like you. She's a British like you. Have I met you at the airport before? Yes, yes, please. It was me. <laughs> Your hair was braided some way, so you got me confused. Mm. Like, I'm yeah, looking at you and I'm thinking, me, have I met you? Yeah, it was really catch you. It was me, it was me. <laughs> now we're talking mm -hmm. now, yeah. <laughs> no, it was me, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. I never, I never, I never. I live there. Oh, and wow. so, back to the, the question. Mm. I am a very traditional person. For everybody I've collaborated with, I've gone to the studio with the person. Mm. Okay. And I don't live here. I am here Friday, 
Sometimes I get here Saturday, I minister on Sunday. Yeah. Sometimes I jump on that plane right after ministering, just so I can get home early now, take my kids to school and all that. And so it becomes difficult hey. to actually do this. Mm. Hmm. So I have to plan, pre-plan. If it's a collaboration we're doing in the UK or something, it's easy. I did Wale in the UK. I did Blessing Vani in the UK. Precious, I had to dedicate time. And, and I, I hardly do send it, do mm. it, bring it. it I like to, to vibe studio. with yeah. that person. Yeah. I can say, I went to the studio, we wrote the song. Mm. Okay. And so it's, this is where the issue, but now because I frequent here a lot and my kids are a bit grown, I've had the chance to do some collaborations that I'm excited about. Okay. Mm. So, so, so then okay. now I can ask you that question it. again. Is it difficult to be a Diana Hamilton? Please don't lie now. Please <laughs> I'm don't. telling you, I'm telling you. Because. Uh, so uh, let me, let me uh -huh. give you a classic example. Uh -huh. So I was here on a Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, I had been here for three, four weeks. I did somebody's book launch on Wednesday, jumped onto the flight got to London on Thursday morning, got to the kitchen and cooked all day Thursday. I received guests on Thursday. I had just Friday to rest. Saturday, actually, no, I lied. Friday, I went to Belgium. Oh. Ministered on Saturday night. At 4 a.m., I was on a flight from Belgium to Ghana on Sunday so I could be on stage at Porter City. Everybody around me was worried about me. I don't know what they were talking about. <laughs> Where is wow. this it's become a lifestyle. From? I like I had no idea my what they were talking about. No, I know. They, 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 they didn't think I could. I, apparently, they were worried. Yes, I was tired. I didn't feel like I was going to die. What, is, what does this do to family life? Like, twenty-four hours a day, three different countries. I know, but there are some days you kill me, you will not get me. Mm. You dedicate, mm. you yeah. kind of cut off. Yeah. How much? If you were to do like a, a split at, at, at 30, oh. 70, 60, 40, 50, That would be difficult. But I, I, like I'll say, on their birthday, I'm there. Mm -hmm. On Mother's Day, I'm mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. On my husband's birthday, I'm there. Mm -hmm. Father's Day. Graduation. Uh, graduation. What, what about, what about So I'll tell, I'll tell you, let me give you the story behind graduation. <laughs> so he didn't have his date. Mm. And then I had booked for to be here to leave London on the day of his graduation. Whoa. And then his dates came. Mm. And he was like, oh, don't worry, you can go. And oh. I was somebody who will not push it. Oh, don't worry, you can go. But I was like, ah, this guy has worked so hard. Mm -hmm. I was on the road. He stayed up, learned, mm. scanning his masters. But he made it look like it was okay. So yes, I'm, I'm going, I'm going. He will go for the... And then one day he was like, oh, no, my brother was saying, should we let Alex escort me? I was like, oh, this is my cue. I only so I jumped. <laughs> I jumped on. I went to BA, changing over <laughs> the ticket yeah, was going to cost me about four thousand pounds. Yes. Oh. So I rather downgraded, and paid four hundred pounds extra just to stay oh. and do this. I was excited to do that. Right. Like I have to. Yeah. It, there are some days I will not touch. You're not compromising. In any yeah. Way. It has to it's be not damaged. a lot. I've given you just a few of yeah. them. Mm -hmm. what, but, what about the seasons that? Uh, how do I say? Peak so I'll business. come to Ghana if it's Christmas. Christmas. Exactly. We'll come to if it's not to, the two the of family. all of us together. We will spend. We will enter the new year together. Mm. It's a must. Yeah, we'll enter the new year together, and I'm praying that nothing breaks that. But yeah. so far, we haven't done thirty first night okay. apart. Hey, so me that was been thinking that. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm doing some because yes, I mean this Friday and report to work on Monday thing. I've you, been you, engaging. You, you are that familiar Monday. with that, aren't you? No, no, somebody is doing that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, wow. Like, so, so yeah. Where is this energy coming from? Because I, I mean, I'm just wondering. Yes, you do love it. You mm. do love your job. It hits you. But yes, like it hits you. Like because I'm wondering how you're going to prepare yourself for your shows. Mm -hmm. You're going to prepare yourself to minister. You're going to prepare yourself for you know for family time. Mm. Like, and mm. all that. So it's like dividing your brain into 10,000 parts and then making Trust each part me. feel like it's 100, 100%. Trust me. Sometimes you feel you need to ask God to just add three extra hours to the 24 hours, and mm. life would have mm. been mm. a very easy one. So ah. probably seven hours a day would have been perfect. Like, <laughs> but it doesn't happen. However, let's, let's be honest. I, uh, God has blessed me with a good team. Mm. I was just about to ask about the team, yeah. So... Hubby and the kids are good. Mm. Like I can leave the house and not worry about anything. As long as Michaela's hair is done, mm. I'm good. <laughs> That's the only thing he cannot do. Mm. So that part is fine. Uncle Charles is handling everything, documents, 
mm. everything remotely needing arranging mm. flights, who's landing where, who's picking you, who's mm. doing all that. He's handling my 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 calendar, my diary, my itinerary. Mm. He knows. So when you when you call and say talk to Uncle Charles, mm. really talk to Uncle Charles. Mm. You know when you land at Kutoka, King David is there, mm. and he's with me throughout until he drops me off at the airport wow. and I leave. When I get to Ghana, we have a, two standing bands ready to go, and at every convenient time we rehearse. When I get to Kuma, when I get to Accra, I have Pia. When I get to Kumasi, I have Jayao and the rest. When I'm in the UK, I have Stephen and the band. When I go to America, I have Junior. And so you have a team in every nation that you go. And sometimes you get there, you do a dress, you do a rehearsal with them. And then there are days where you're like, God, this one day you have to take the lead. You know this one? I've been tired. God, mm. help me. Those days he comes through like that. Mm. But when there are times I have time, then I, I pray in advance. Mm. <laughs> but this sounds a lot like somebody who's taking uh, the music beyond just music and looks like business. Big yeah. business. Yeah. Very you know, big when business. you know you have a team that is working 24 7, and you know, and I'm, I'm just wondering at what point, because mm. you know, Dina has done uh, the, the BV job for a very long time with mm. Francis AJ. Mm. So she's come from back in the day. Mm. And back in the day, the conversations you hear are not really business. Or, you know, the few days ago, they were telling us that you make a song, a big man buys it, and you go to sleep, and they and sell it, and they pay you off. Yeah, you know, but was. now times have changed. Yeah. At what point did you realize that this is business for me? And so I need to put things together and put people I want to assume that these people are on your payroll so uh, Miss G, God has dealt me, sometimes I sit in certain meetings and people are giving manual as to how things need to be done and I look at those manual and I'm like it's working in my area but did I ever sit down to plan, to plan this mm. I don't know if I'm making sense yeah. like they're talking about things to do to blah 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 and things to do mm -hmm. and I'm like 70% are things that are working for me. Did I sit down to plan this? Mm. The Bible says that the steps of a righteous are ordered by God. Mm. And so he brought me David, King David, mm -hmm. who picked me when I was just singing, for, beaving for Francis A.J. and singing at church. Mm -hmm. And he said, I got you. Mm. And he has stayed with me through the era where you sang, left with the producer and walked away. Mm. We've added on. Mm -hmm. We haven't lost anyone if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. A few years later, Uncle Charles came, brought about every system that needs to be put in place. All that time, or even before that, my husband, I went on YouTube in 2007, mm. when maybe a lot of people hadn't even thought of having a YouTube account. Mm. I remember at that time, some media guy had said that, oh, they, they've registered my songs on YouTube and they were sending me money. Mm. And I, hadn't, I didn't even know the person's number. Mm. But then my husband would sit, go online and learn how to get there. He did. And then Uncle Charles 1615 Media came. And then they started going into deeper. We've learned the job as we, we go along. Mm. Maybe I've submitted myself to them. Maybe they've believed in the craft, the ministry, and everything that we're doing. And we're here. Did we ever sit down to say, this is what we're going to do? But it, it's um, yearly, we'll meet, we'll discuss, where are we now? Where do we want to go? Where do we see ourselves going? And that's where we are. Wow. Well, quite well, okay, so yeah. Yes, so um, looking at the learning curve, mm. the team, I'd like to I'd say, maybe was um, an ad hoc team that kind of built around mm. the journey. Mm. What were some of the milestones that, you know, the harsh lessons? There's always less lessons. We always, you know, trip and then we really realize that, okay, this is where the hole is. Let's stay clear of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. just, you know, look in the sky like God talked to me. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm, oh, I'm she's recalling. Saying, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a long, we've been together for yeah. such a long yeah. time. Yeah. Mm. Um, learning curve, Diana. And I remember when I'll tell you that. Because success is attractive. What you're saying, it sounds great. Very mm -hmm. posh, Anybody listening yeah. on a jet, like going, well coming. Polished, like you have like four bands across the world. Oh, Junior, lot Junior, Junior is in, a, in yeah. the States. Yeah. This person is there. This person is there. <laughs> so, okay, so, okay, so we, 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 we used to have a band. Actually, I think I can get it. So we were, I did Australia on my first album. Mm -hmm. um, that's what David, I had just gotten married. Mm -hmm. And then a, a year later, actually, we recorded it after our honeymoon. And then we left it 
And then a year later, just about two years, I decided, no, a year later, I decided to come back mm -hmm. and um, do other songs. Those times, it wasn't singles. It was a full album. album yeah. So I decided to come back and fill the album and release it. And then Dan Bassi said, oh, the sound is old. Let's re-record Ostrobe Casa. Mm -hmm. So we re-recorded Ostrobe Casa. I had written Winnie Komeho. That was what the mm -hmm. first song I ever wrote that came on an album. Mm -hmm. How many years later is a beautiful song out there. Mm -hmm. But um, so we had done that. And he are taking, oh, Diana, my thoughts are gone now. What was the question? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm about le le oh, le 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 Okay, thank you. And so we, we, we had done the song, released the song. We needed to launch the song in the UK. We had a band that would work with us. Mm -hmm. In those days, it was a proper hard work. Mm -hmm. You had to pick every member of the band from their house. Mm -hmm. You had to cook for them. You had to... Wow. <laughs> it, it was we, work. It was work. Like, you had to assemble them. Maybe our year side and side, we had to meet. Mm -hmm. I, we did that. First album, second album. We'd call people, we'd do an album launch. Between the second and the third, or something like that, second and third, we did um, an EP. And I was going to have a concert. Mm -hmm. The first ever concert I was going to charge for. Mm. Wow. In London. And this band had approached me, we'll do it. We'd say, blah, blah, blah. We'll charge you this amount. Mm -hmm. we pay. I've said the story everywhere. And I say this because you've asked me mm. the, 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 the part good. where it just moved. Mm -hmm. So we had rehearsed on a Friday. I had flown in Ohima Messi to London to do this event. And we had rehearsed with a band on Friday night. The event was on Saturday. I remember walking into the hall on Saturday. So Nibadu was the MC. And he, up and he says, Ajwa, I have one bad news and one good news. Which one do you want first? Mm. I said, hit me with the bad so that we can pacify me with the good. <laughs> anyway, so he's like, your drummer, who is a music director, has flown to Belgium. Say what now? Wow. On the day of your Look, wow. mine just, the even, of my, the mine just even dropped like it was yesterday, <laughs> like it was happening right now. Hmm. Yeah. Why? Oko. 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 Hey, and so, well, that's what we had. Anyway, so I was like, what, 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 what other good have you got to pacify me with this? Mm. Anyway, he said, well, we have a, a better drummer. I said, it doesn't even, so that event hasn't seen, I, I used to play with him, mm. but for this particular night, I hadn't Re rehearsed with him. Mm. So nobody has seen, that event hasn't seen the light of day. Mm. Wow. Because the whole night, the bass guitarist had his back to the crowd. Because he had to prompt the drummer. Mm -mm. There's a break. Mm -mm. There's a this. There's a roll. There's a that. And when we were done with the event, tempers were high. So my husband is talking to, I think Sonny or something. I didn't go for we are JD. So someone else heard it, went and told our drummer. And these were his words. Mm. Wow. So there was that break. They, and, and it's so funny, that night, after that night, the following weekend, one of my babies was having a concert, and she invited me to minister on that stage. And this band was her band. Gosh. And so we asked the organizer, I said, are you sure they'll play? Because it obviously there are things are going, oh, we've spoken to them, they'll play. It's not a, it's not a problem. Hmm. So I was called. And at my last concert, we rehearsed in that same auditorium. Okay. Mm -hmm. I remember walking up the stairs to go on the stage and I met the guitarist, walking. the keyboardist, Whoa. all descending the stairs whilst Whoa. I was climbing up. I'm on, I'm on. There he is. Sabotage. So they walked off the stage. God <laughs> bless Uncle Charles and my husband. Quickly. And, and Dan Bassi and George Forrest, who in those times, even though we didn't even know about stems yeah. and, and soundtracks yeah. and everything, for every album they did, they Maybe two hit songs on there. They'll put instrumentals, instrumentals with BVs on yeah. right. and left the lead vocal. So for, each, for a life. Wow. And for a life. For a living God. Amen. Mm. Yeah. And so quickly they slotted in my CDs, CDs then. By the time. And then, so I had to talk. Just, just to, to buy time. Just to buy time. Mm. And then we did it. Mm -hmm. Now back to the learning curve. It was then. Bear in mind there was a young boy, Stephen Asamoa. Maybe he was nine or ten. Bugging me on Facebook. I want to play with you. I want to play. I'm like, which boy is this? <laughs> so fast forward. The following year, the guy who stepped in for me, that because I hadn't rehearsed, yeah. 
was then playing my next album at the launch. Right. And Steven had come around that he wants to play. And so KB said, okay, my name Bob Papa Rains, two songs. I mean, Bob Yakano. And that boy blew me yeah. away. Mm. He, he, was, he, was, he, was he was just waiting for the His opportunity. opportunity. Yes. Mm. I've stayed yeah. with that boy for, before. Actually, when, we, when he, fell, he played, my twins were less than a year, and my twins are 12. Wow. Mm. Decade That's ago. A very decade. And if you've seen my latest live video, I did an old school mashup mm. of Strobe yeah, Kasa yeah. and NCUA. Yeah. Yeah. That drama was like, when you go on YouTube, all the comments are about Steven. Mm. He arranged the whole night. He was on the ball. And his excitement, almost 12 years later, mm. is infectious. Wow. Is that a learning curve enough? Is it like mm. a... a, a <laughs> <laughs> was it like a, a change of and and it was after they at the time when the band left me, all my beavis then were getting married, were having oh, children, and, and so I guess. and so you know I was left. It was like my leanest yeah. period. Wow! And then we decided to audition, mm -hmm. and then when we the, the group we auditioned for twelve years later, we're here. Still. Still with you, years you know. Uh, uh, wow. Sorry, okay. In all this, I just you, you you've mentioned Uncle Charles' husband, Uncle Charles' husband, Uncle Charles' husband, King, King David. Yes, uh, King David. That's the team. Thank um, you very much. Let me just let me just <laughs> narrow it down to husband. Okay. How do you? Uh, what first? What role does he play? In the mm. when you ask him, he say he's the husband. He's the husband. <laughs> Um, marriage is not an easy journey, mm. and marriage in itself has got its own challenges, mm. ups and downs. How do you two cope with when the disagreements of marriage life, you know, eats into business? And I, I was just wondering how, because you kept on mentioning that, and I was like, it okay, doesn't, it doesn't even eat into business. You don't even the disagreement into business. He's he's been good to leave things to Uncle Charles and King David. Okay, and they've also respected him to fill him in. Mm -hmm. And so he knows when to come in, when not to come in. For instance, we're about to do experience. Mm -hmm. And Kakraba is asking for, our sound guy is asking for a big SSD with a huge terabyte. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take me out of that conversation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 but Uncle Charles will call and say, Doc, and Kakraba say we may send the link now and mm -hmm. he'll mm -hmm. buy it. Mm -hmm. You know, we're doing things like that. Mm -hmm. He knows when to come in and went to step back and he's always the one going although oh, we need this mic holder this ipad holder mm. should we try this mm. one mm. should we do this he's yeah okay sorry in family in family okay stay on family um, I'm have, have any of your kids family. shown interest in towing the Dina hamilton line michaela okay wanted to be v for me oh. <laughs> and i was like you're too young but now she doesn't want to sing for me to hear but i know it'll come it'll if come she, wow. yeah it'll come yeah, yeah and, and I asked her, which of my songs do you know? Because I didn't think, oh my goodness. She knew everywhere BV came in when wow. it was a lead. How old is Michaela again? 12. Wow. Wow. Mm. Well, I didn't want to stay on your family thing. I was going to ask her <laughs> that she thinks that is hereditary because, you know, her father was a, a reverend minister, mm. but I didn't, I have not heard you say that any of your siblings sing as well professionally. Okay. Okay. So I want to know whether there was somebody who, before your dad, maybe your okay. grandparents who were into the music ministry, so that we are looking um, whether it's my something My dad that it's... was a worship leader. In fact, mm. my dad was there praise and worship leader when the pastors met. Mm. And because of that, everybody in my family can sing to save their life, <laughs> except my brother, who oh. cannot help himself. <laughs> but um, to the point where Adam was written by my sister. Mm. My sister sings beautifully, sings. You might... The one you look like? Yes. Mm. That's DH by DH, your, your, my, your my, partner. My, my partner, yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, but I wore DH by DH last Friday, mm -hmm. and the guy said it was beautiful. You forgot the scarf I put oh, on my neck. Oh, the scarf. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. you loved yeah. it, right? So yeah. that's my design. Thank you very much. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. I'm, but yeah. <laughs> oh, so when I said it was DH by DH, you didn't get it. I didn't get it. I didn't get it instantly. Oh, Sorry. Yeah. I like the way Diana says DH by DH. Yeah, that's British, that, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. DH. H. Yeah. You can't H. H. Yeah, right. You can't H. If I hear you people say H in this business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she I was answering. I don't think she was done. Which one? Oh, yes. Oh. So whether it's in my family, yes, mm. it's in my family. Mm. It's, um, but maybe it started for my dad because my auntie could sing. My dad is older than my auntie. So I don't know who was before my dad um, but we're a proper music family whenever we lifted a worship our morning devotions were very infectious our neighbors would 
come join us mm. for our worship sessions and our morning devotions. And so every one of them can sing to save their lives, yeah. I mean, um, <clears throat> I'm just looking at how you've been able to stay relevant all these years. Mm. It's been a long journey for you. Um, I, I grew up listening to Francis A.J. Okay. And so I, I, I know what I mean by how long the journey has been. Um, mm. Not too long ago, we, have, we had a conversation with some industry um, experts in the gospel space. Mm. And they were talking about how gospel artists need to reinvent the wheel and mm. stay abreast with the latest technologies and whatnot. Mm. But for you and your team, I mean, I know you don't get directly involved in some of those things, but for you as an artist, as a gospel artist, what have you done personally to always stay on top? And keep the brand posh as it is. Is it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. Because I was going to come to branding later on. Yeah, because when you talk about Anna Hamilton, it's, it's, a, it's a very posh brand. <laughs> 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 Have you seen Dinah? I've told you this. I think I told her an interview before. Have you seen Dinah at a live performance before? You know what, what really excites me and what I always look forward to, apart from her administration? Dinah always has a bottle of water. A laptop, yeah, and a, towel. And a towel, and the way yeah. she goes about those Brand three things, no. Brand no. Chale, oh, oh, she like performance. I won't say, oh dear, um, stay on top. It's just so for ev <laughs> let me not put aside grace mm. because I can tell you for a fact that everything I'm doing, yeah, someone else is doing it, right? Mm. So, what's different? if not the grace of God. So let me let me attribute that to the amazing hand of God that is working, that is ordering my steps to the right places. Mm. Secondly, the team around me always trying to stay on top of their game. Mm. Thirdly, mm -hmm. we're always looking out for who mm -hmm. is, for anybody we want to work with, mm. they have to be at the top in their game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the top in their game. Yeah, you know, for every for everybody that we work with, if we're if we're doing lighting, we're going for somebody yeah. who knows what to do. Mm -hmm. If we're recording, who's 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 going to handle the song better? Mm -hmm. You know, we, we would have worked with this one, but this particular song, we don't think is for him. Mm -hmm. So you would not since we, I think it was only Ostro Bekasa that album that we recorded the whole album with Dan Bassi. Okay. But after that, every album, we split it, mm. Mm. as in, so that it's not one person doing all the creation. Closing signature on you. Exactly. Yeah. So, and it's always been Dan, George Forrest, Blessed Memory, mm -hmm. um, Shadrach Yorson, yeah. Kewa, Koda, all these names I'm mentioning, you know them. Right. They're right. good at what they do. Maybe all those things have worked, have kind of played a role. Mm. Um, there have been, uh, people will always ask how I mix, why and how I mix English with, with tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I say, it was always part of me. But when I started off, King David was like, you're a Ghanaian. Let's show your Ghanaian side. Mm -hmm. And so Osrobekasa, there was a lot of intentionality to go proper tree she. on it. Mm -hmm. But even in NCUA, I would do on a coin soon so I was what well, is seventy-seven never I could have yeah. said or they had your son son never sign. Yeah. I was gradually sneaking it in. Then she is good. The tree well, is good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's then I was writing um work in progress. Mm -hmm. Somebody would say that was when I was bold enough enough to actually be confident to proper mix it. Mm -hmm. I had the privilege of working with Kwame Yeboa. Yeah. And I was like, come here, but I said, but I come. How do I do? I said, speak it. Mm -hmm. Just say it. it um, um, Cause I'm a work in progress. Cause I was thinking, because I'm a work in progress. I'm like, I'm working. I'm like, I'm like, I mean, I can't get calls to this. So you don't have to have a call. Say it. Mm. And when it worked, I realized. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Taking, taking that insight, yeah. how much of your music is, okay, this needs to go, people need to resonate with this, and this needs to, to carry its own weight, and how much is, this is something that I feel inspired or called mm. to create. I don't really care how big it is, but this is something on my chest that I need okay. to get off, and if I can land it in the studio, I'm happy. Okay. What, what's your balance on that? Okay, so the Word of God is such that it's relevant to every individual at a particular point in time. And so when 
you pray to God to give you a message and he gives you the message. You are confident enough to go into the studio and deliver. And then he who gave you the message has the way of pushing it out there. And I say this, that Psalm 23 is older than your great, great, great grandfather mm -hmm. and those above him. Are we still reciting it? Mm. Is it still blessing people? Mm. And so it's when the message is based on the word of God, God decides who he wants to bless with that song. Mm. And that is why everybody will say, oh, you are looking at me. It looks like you looked at me and wrote the song. But it was actually a message that was given to me. Mm. Yeah. I, I want to talk about branding. What I, I want to say, if it was... No, that's if, it, there's it was, a lot to, to talk about. Because, I mean, you've done an absolute... <laughs> fantastic job wow. you know in, yeah in, in terms the of brand. yeah and it's not easy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because and i want to go back to the first encounter i had with um diana entry hamilton it was when i was at multimedia the first interview was an interview at that time don when was had come i think it was the um mpp was getting inaugurated into power and mm -hmm. they were i think they brought don when there was going to be a huge i don't even remember that conversation mm -hmm. they brought they were me. thinking of bringing don when to ghana and mm -hmm. it had become a huge conversation amongst you know gospel fraternity that oh we have artists here mm -hmm. you remember yeah, that story yeah I, I forgot in what was really happening but I there was remember. a dumb way conversation that's the first time we had an encounter okay. and that time and i'm going back to that time that time i'm, I'm sure it was maybe 20 um 16 okay. there about okay. okay at that time diners following on instagram was 23k okay Okay. I, I, I think you should hire a new PA. <laughs> no, because I, 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 I know. And I tell, I tell people also, yeah. I think I told this story before. That I said, Diana is somebody who um, values relationship. Mm. And I said it before. I think I told you off yeah. air the day we had the conversation that Diana will bring you a purse, a lipstick. Or she always makes sure that when she's coming to you for an interview, she brings you something. And I was telling him that in that way, you feel like you're indebted to do something for her in return. Oh. It might not be deliberate, but because mm. you know that she's been kind to you, you want to also offer kindness in yeah. return. Uh, so, yeah. So uh, she, I've, I've known her for quite a bit. Oh. So I know when I said that at that time, because that was when I stepped following her. And I've looked at, now she's in, I think you've reached millions, eh? Just now, under. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you see how like she's far she's come. Mm -hmm. And there were a lot of people before her. And there are still people who have come. But I'm talking about how she's been able to make that brand, you know, a very convincing brand that she has most of the endorsements in her fraternity now. Like if you look at that's what I say, oh, it's like a queen blessing as when she's sitting down there. Look at the kind of uh, deals she's signed on to. And it's almost like you've changed the face sort of, you know, of the gospel industry, because even the guys who sat here with us, who are the pandits when it comes to the industry, say it's difficult to get corporate to support things that are gospel. But she's got two huge brands, at least two huge that we know. Namely? Uh, you, you want me to give free adverts? Yes, Enterprise please. and Awake. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so we know that, you know. And so I'm just wondering, what has she done? Is it... Like people will say in this dispensation, packaging. <laughs> yes. Were you deliberate you... about your packaging? Yeah, you know yourself, that you yeah. know that. Oh, I have to. When I look a certain way or do things a certain way mm. or carry myself in a certain light, so that I attract certain kinds of people. Because the other people who have been doing gospel, like I said, but you know the conversations around them fact, are not same as the conversations around Dinah. So, you know, when you started saying, was I deliberate in doing, I'm like, I, I could sit in a meeting and somebody would be giving tips on what to do mm -hmm. to package yourself or, <laughs> or to say and do. And I'm like, I, I, I didn't get this message. I didn't sit down to plan this. This has been me, mm. me and me. This, 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 what you see what you is get. what you get. Yeah. But I think it's because we've, being consistent at what we are doing. Mm. I, was, I was having a conversation with um, a group on Zoom, and I said to them that David in the Bible was anointed to be king. But he went into that palace not to be a king, because there was a reigning king. He went there to serve. Between the time he was anointed to the time he actually became king, oh, he went through stuff. Mm -hmm. But he stayed true to himself. I think we've done this for such a long time. We haven't changed or we've tried not to change. And 
And so it comes to me naturally. I think for everybody who's come on board, i.e. Awake Purified Drinking Water, Enterprise Life, TS Property Electronics, even those that, these are companies I'm a brand ambassador for, but companies that have come to even sponsor experience, Beulah Brokers, Adon City Estate, all these companies, it's what I am doing that I'm not even forcing it or, or sat down to plan that this is what we want to do. But it's just me. Okay, but so it's, it's not it's, it's not possible to let, say let, that let she's me, not deliberate about. So like I was just about you know, to say that I'm, I'm coming. So I am careful. Okay. To whatever I do to mm -hmm. please God. I think in that doing, trying to please because I don't think I ever sit down to say, Diana, go with your bike with your iPad <laughs> and your water mm -hmm. and your towel on stage mm -hmm. so that there's a certain what you call it, aura it's or true. something. Mm -hmm. I, I go with that iPad because when I'm doing experience, and there's always a reason behind what I, I am singing for about an hour and a half. I have song lists. I have people I need to acknowledge, mm. and I don't want to forget. And so I put them on that iPad, and I don't put screen lock on there. Mm. So for an hour and a half, is it so? it's so, <laughs> so that I'm scrolling and making sure that I'm on track. Mm. I'm on stage that long. Yeah, but, but you use it, iPad, yeah, you know that. So, so okay, so uh, maybe some, some of the things I've done uh -huh. deliberately mm. was when Awake mm. came, mm. I'm like, okay, I'll have to go on stage with Awake. Mm. Mm. Do you think Awake came because they realized that you kept using water on stage and they thought it was an opportunity to tap in? Okay, so Awake first came on to sponsor Experience. Mm. Okay. And then to do an advert for them. Mm. Okay. So that was the initial one, to do just an endorsement right. for them. And I was like, you know what? I go on stage with water. Water. Mm. Sharp. Sharp. So. What's up? What's up? And <laughs> <laughs> we, they came on stage. They came on that, that year, mm -hmm. sponsored us. A bit. They were not headline sponsors then, but just sponsored us. Right. And their water was on stage. Yeah. And then, so something like Enterprise Life, they don't have a physical product. Mm. But I'll go on stage with a green towel. Mm. Because there's nothing of theirs that I can physically put, put out. That, yeah. Okay, so maybe when you're talking of intentionality, mm. it's these are the things that we bring in. But is that why they came on board? Because I'm struggling to give you yeah. the, the tips and, and yeah. stuff that. Yeah. Okay, so um, still on, on planning, um, with your team, you know, I want to find out what kind of conversations you have, like we've entered 2023, you know, um, again, is it just, uh, um, I, I don't want to say maybe reflex on, look, I'm dropping a new song, I'm, mm. are, are there certain plans, like what, what does a year look like, you know, in terms of planning, you know, what, what goes into a Dinah Hamilton's team, okay. and how do you, America, UK, job this, you know, know. coordinate everybody. You know that guys, this year looks like this. This is oh, that, what that's happening. Happen. Yeah. So diary, Uncle Charles. Okay. Events that I have to go to, Uncle okay. Charles. So when you call King David, he will just let you know. Okay. Um, are you sure? Can you handle? Can you? Uh, okay, I'll give it to Uncle Charles. We need. He he knows if the date you're asking for is available. available. Mm. And so we give it to Uncle Charles. And Uncle Charles will come, Auntie, there's this one on Friday. Will you be able to do Friday and jump on a plane on Saturday and mm. get there on Sunday? If you can't, no, Uncle Charles. Michaela has an appointment. Or well, this one has that. We can do that. Can we slash this one? We're always talking. But mm. by the time the year ends, maybe we're at, or maybe the beginning of the year, we'll sit down and have a discussion. Mm. What was the year like? Mm. Where are we going? Any new songs? What are you doing? And when we get the song, oh... Yes, we we'll send it to them. Oh, critics! Oh, yes. Oh, well, so, you, 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 you. <laughs> so, what was it when you when you did Adum? Adum, what was it when we did Adum? So, <laughs> so when we did Adum, um, Adelaide, my sister, started off the song, um, and she gave the song to me, and I had to add Adum, Adum. I've been through a lot, but grace. Those were lines that I put in. And so we went to the studio and we did like, a, not a demo, but we, we, you know, the first take. Mm -hmm. And they were excited. There was, there was just, I'll tell you about this, the, the, the Team DH critics, what they do. <laughs> so my sister's American. So we were saying, you have been my doctor on that sick bed. But Adelaide said, you have been 
my doctor on that second bed. Mm. Mm. Now, that's like American. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to do something new. So I went out. You have been my doctor on that second bed. Mm. And I sent it to Uncle Charles. Next call. Auntie. Second now I can't on and where the Uncle Charles is American, Auntie. You from Uncle Charles, me say American. Auntie. You feel me. We cannot answer questions. Mm. <laughs> so this is a classic wow. thing that would go in. Okay. So we, we've done it. I sent it to Adley. Adley, this is the song. Auntie, that was not the image I had in my mind for the song. Oh, mm. my Adley. <laughs> well, you're excited. It's an idea. What's in your mind that you're talking about? And then, Auntie, let me think about it. And I didn't want to push her. Mm. So the whole team. And since I listen to them, I'm going to them in 10 and counting them in the toilet. So when I was like, Alid, who's me in train? Auntie, I'm not training. I'm not training. I'm not training. So I'm sitting here for about two weeks, oh. waiting for Adelaide to come oh. back and say it's okay. Her husband has told her off for oh. saying she didn't want the style of play, and she hadn't even come back to us. So yeah, something wow. like that. Wow. I, you know, I, I, the activities of your team right. makes me feel like it's like, like a label. I, so would you say you have like a label? Would you call your team a label? Just call it your <laughs> management team. Like, how would you treat it? Because it's like you guys have everything figured out, quote unquote. How, do right? we? I mean, I mean, whatever you guys are doing is working, right? And I'm we sure someone is listening and yeah. is like, okay, you know what? Maybe I need a team like Dana Hamilton. Mm. I'm sure there's a. What I advise everybody is, don't just get a team. Mm. Get, get a family. team. No, get a team that believes in your craft. Mm. That believes. And I do gospel, so that believes in the oil over your head. Mm -hmm. That can align with what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So that when you're delivering, they know where you're coming from. Um, exactly. Must the people Don't, be spiritual? Well, Should they be spiritual for the... For they the need of... to align with what you're doing. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for me, I'm blessed to have people who understand and. ministry. Mm -hmm. And so when you're talking, it's not gibberish. Mm -hmm. Mm. And so that I tell them. So mm. no, you but, see but, a lot of. Okay. I, mean, I don't miss you, but sorry, I just have to unpack this. <laughs> <laughs> From what I'm gathering with this team, you right. see a lot of people playing different roles. Mm. Everybody is aligned, like mm. you're saying. Mm. But sometimes it's not a question about how I wish maybe some circular artists can adopt some okay. of the. Um, Even strategies that Don't move away from them. you know, because this is an like, this is a, a classic example of how a machinery Should is work. working, Should is operate. making. So we are not just seeing you here. It's a lot of people at the back end making, making sure that sure. this is this is working. Yeah. You know, and I think it's a it's a template that a lot of Ghanaian artists should pick up. Mm. You know, um, mm. for for the ones who need. Who mm. you should pick up, you know, and mm. I, I applaud you. I applaud yeah. you for that. Yeah. You know, the we, machine we is oiled by the with the Holy Spirit, so everything. Is, <laughs> everything. Yeah. Is oiled. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, that's what I was going to go to. You know how you said the machine is oiled by the Holy Spirit. There are people who would also say, "Oh, this I love how Dinah's team is working." Blah 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 blah. But I I want to ask for purposes of people who might be thinking that is the machine is oiled by the Holy Spirit. So Holy Spirit is, is oiling their palm. Mm. <laughs> you understand what I'm thinking? You know, people will just say, oh, Miss G, Miss G. You know, you know, it's like, the Holy Spirit, but the Holy You know, okay. so you want to be very frank yeah. and say that, oh, but even though the Holy Spirit is guiding us, they still yeah. have bills to pay. Uh -huh. Miss G, let me tell you this. This is a team that has stayed with me when there was nothing. Mm. Yeah. So my question is, are you willing to stay with this person when there's nothing? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. and give your all mm -hmm. when nothing is coming out. Mm. And are you the artist willing to keep this thing mm. when there's something? That's another thing. That, th th this is the conversation that you, we need to have mm. because it doesn't come in a day. Mm. And so whoever wants to go, hand, that's why I said you need somebody who believes in you, mm -hmm. believes in the oil over, it's like meeting a guy who has got no money, mm -hmm. but you see his future. future. And because of that, you are staying with him. Yeah. Same way, meeting a girl who you think, you know, we're not quite there. Mm -hmm. She doesn't meet my level. But if I love her enough, That's and I support her enough, mm -hmm. and I invest in her enough, mm -hmm. she's going to come to a level that we will both enjoy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is my story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On the lighter side, who in the team is the one that is a ye? 
<laughs> what is yeah? <laughs> when they show up, everybody sits well. Yeah. <laughs> the team, that, that one person, the team that is yeah. I, I, I don't know how else. Who did you, you say you called like, about the sickening? Yeah. That was Uncle Charles. Uncle Everyone Charles. has their own. Uncle Charles yeah. is very re quiet. He's a funny one. Yeah. But there are some things you not compromise. Mm. So meditations. Right. They the meditations of my heart, yeah. Auntie. I mean, should they should meditation, see? Uh, is there, is there, do we say meditations or meditation? Uncle Charles, I mean, cost to your hobby. It's Uncle Charles like, uh, is it like uh, a communication? Okay, so he's a lecturer, uh -huh. a radio presenter, uh -huh. an event organizer. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So he's a yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Uh -huh. he's, not, he's not yeah as in when he enters the room, everyone has to run. Yeah. Yeah. But if he wants his point made, oh. Yeah. I'm like, Charles, I'm not going to anymore you because we didn't come back to you. <laughs> he went like, okay, there can be different meditation. I'm like, Uncle Charles, whatever you do, I'm going to meditation. Do you, do you, as an artist, get into that spot where you go off on a team because something wasn't done right to help you during your performance or something, and something must have mislipped everybody's mind that just irked you? And, like, do you do you go off on the team? Because we've spoken about how sweet the team is. I know. But, oh. but it's a oh, team. Yeah. When, when, team. When, when there's an event, when there's an event, uh -huh. they know the things to tell me and the things not to tell me, uh, you know, because okay. they know at that point she's yeah, because I'm a nervous yeah, wreck, mm. you know, so things like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're human, it's a human institution. But let's it? talk about the event. Yeah, uh, I have noticed that I don't know if that was the case in the past, though, but I've noticed that within the past few years, we are doing both Accra and Kumasi. Okay. I've been used to experience Accra, Accra you know, from the National Theatre days well done. to Kari Temple. Yeah. Yeah, our, our uncle, uh, King David sees me. <laughs> Oh, so, wow. Yeah, I show. I you know you I'm that kind of person who shows up but never be at the front row. Yeah, I'm always in the, in crowd, the crowd somewhere wow. because I want to feel free and be okay. Mm. So right. I show up. Wow. And now we're Thank going you. to Paris. Yeah. So, um, but. All of a sudden, I realized that there's Kumasi as well, and mm. there's an agenda for Kumasi, an agenda, if I say agenda, maybe mm. like um, a team for Kumasi mm. in terms of those we are ministering with. Okay. And there's a team for Accra. Accra as well. Is that always been the case? Or yes. we are now noticing? Oh, no. Okay, so the first experience was done in 2014 in the UK, mm. and that was 2015 in the UK. In 2016, we came to Ghana, National Theatre. In 2017, we did National Theatre and Campus Tech. So CCB Auditorium and National Theatre. The following year was Calvary mm -hmm. Temple mm. and Bant Church mm -hmm. of Pentecost. Mm. The second year, Calvary Temple, Bant Church of Pentecost. Now, last year, Perez, Bant Church of Pentecost. Mm. And this year, Perez, Bant Church of Pentecost. Mm. So it's, it's, not been, it's not just recent. Mm. By the second experience in Ghana, we went to Kumasi. Oh, I see. I'm Wish sure we it was could. another... Oh. Crazy. Kumasi is a different vibe. It's a different that's, that's vibe your people, altogether. Like your community. <laughs> it's almost like, oh, let's come and see our own. You know, she's gone away from us and returned to us. Can I, I, I want to think so. <laughs> oh yeah, the mm. love, the love in Kumasi is, like I say, palpable. Mm. And Accra is same. We 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 love it. We mm. absolutely. We want to delve into the 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 events now, mm. so that we don't have to go back and take you. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So the event is on, um, the Accra one is on the 19th of February, which okay. is a week on Sunday, mm. um, at the Perez Dome. Okay. And the lineup you're talking mm. about, they're different. Um, Accra, sometimes we move, sometimes I take Joe Metal to Kumasi, so it's not like I, we, we need mm -hmm. to give ourselves the chance. Mm. And um, we've prayed who, who will work in Accra, mm -hmm. who will work in Kumasi. So in Accra, Joe Metal is on, Ohima Messi is on, mm -hmm. Perez Music is on, mm. Celestine Donko is on, and there's a wow. young lady from Belgium, Bernice Pamford, and then Christiana Tefua on, on that night in Accra. In Kumasi, which is mm -hmm. exactly a week after, the 26th of February, in Bantama, CSP Kofi Sapon, Sisi Chum, PSC Esther, Moses Oke, Joined you. Which is okay. Uh, yes. Yeah. Wow, that's a long time ahead of me. Yeah. I, know. No, I, I think you played the show recently, though, but I, I'm loving the fact that sometimes, you know, people look back. You know, and oh, yeah. so I, brought, I brought Amy Wine, Amy Newman, Amy Newman. Amy Newman. Mm -hmm. um, two years ago at Calvary. Last year, we had daughters and Koda. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, we actually, this year, I tried calling Bernice Offer. Oh. Oh. What is it about the Calvary Chapel? I, because I, I, I see some of the gospel artists like mm. doing their concert. Mm. Is it because of the acoustics? Because of the hall? So, I, in, for us initially, it was the size, mm. okay, the acoustics of the room, right, and the team there. 
Okay. Somebody give a shout out to that team mm. in Calvary. Calvary they become family. Ah. Mm. Mm. Like, I, I don't think I can, to the point where we, we left Cal Calvary because we had outgrown the venue. Right. The team came to Perez to come. When I say the team, media, security, mm -hmm. sound, mm -hmm. lighting, their whole team mm -hmm. that was, if, if Calvary, mm should extend the auditorium today, mm. I'll go back. Go back. Mm. Wow. wow. I'm telling you, the team there, Brown, Rosso, they up to the point some of them will give you money to support what you're doing. Wow. Um, wow. To the point where the, the security guy, he doesn't know any of my crowd, so he does, you pack, you will pack here. <laughs> 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 no, it's, it's amazing. Um, I, I think... I don't think I thank them enough mm. for the love they show me. And to me, they are an answer to my prayer. Mm. All this time I'm talking to you, my team is Uncle Charles, mm. King David, husband. my husband, mm. and my PA. Right. This is my team. But God brings all these people on board yeah. who own the night. They are not, it's not what they're getting. It's mm. not... I think you need to be there to I see what I'm talking I, about. Please, like the team, um, the, you see, there's, first there's the core team. <laughs> <laughs> there's, uh, external, you know what I'm shouting? Team, yeah. There's a WhatsApp state there in the group that says uh -huh. core team. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> you know this. And then there's a certain other team. Mm -hmm. So, like me, for example, the number of times I've mentioned Dana Hamilton doing voiceovers, mentioned her awards. Mm. <laughs> so, there's, so there's, you should be team. in that team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 the team. <laughs> we are all in the no, team. you're in the team. No, listen, for somebody to get up and remember your name to talk about you in a mm. conversation is a blessing. Yeah, yeah. it is. It is. I think it these is. are blessings we take for granted. Yeah, mm. yeah. To true. think that you are not in the room, but you're being discussed. Mm. Somebody must have done the work. Yeah. And so, yeah. I want to. I want to. Okay. I, want, I want to find out. I mean, what does it feel like to be at the top? Um, you, you've, you've been through the various If you're phases. scared of heights, you can't look down. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you've been through the phases. That's a good one. I think I'll use that answer. <laughs> <laughs> you've been through the various phases of right. um, your, your gospel career. Mm -hmm. And um, with where you are right now, looking, I, I don't want to say looking back, because then it sounds derogatory, mm -hmm. but looking at the ecosystem of the Ghanaian gospel industry, mm -hmm. what have you noticed? What have you realized? And what do you think we can improve? Oh yeah, I've seen I've seen a lot of changes. Miss mm. G told you I sang with Francis AJ. Yes, mm. so Definitely. we've been around. Oh yes, <laughs> that is why I would really love us to have a <laughs> we've little. We've been Mr. around. Francis. We've seen the times where Francis AJ time, mm -hmm. but um 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 oh this guy that plays guitar that used to record for us. I used to be scared of that guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember his name. He was a guy that used to record for Francis AJ. Mm. Played everything live. Mm. Would go to studio all night mm. for one song. Wow. Mm. All night for one song. And I was just a BV, excited to do one track on that album. Mm -hmm. Or be given, to, be given the chance to do a solo. And then when we're done, we did a video in one somebody's nice house mm -hmm. by flowers yeah bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. Yeah, the, the, the real branding the of real the branding of the gospel <laughs> so, then at that time the radio stations weren't that much actually yeah. joy was just opening then mm -hmm. i remember francis aj's song was played it was cassettes mm -hmm. so they played they turned full it's album i think mm. they were doing a trial i just mm. remember <laughs> hey radijna met she saw I don't don't years later I come to record a song, and I had just five days to leave London, come and record, and go back. Mm. And within five days, I recorded about an eight or nine track album, mm -hmm. shot a video, mm -hmm. and went back. That is wow. a true studio rat. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Because, you see, you don't have many, you don't have much studio hours. And That's you that. have to make sure that you maximize it. was three days. Yes. Yes. I recorded in Kumase, <laughs> yeah. Danbasi. I like that. By the time I on one particular song, uh-huh. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and it's in that song. Somebody's thinking I'm praising God. I'm like frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> you, you cut into the production <laughs> elements. Like the mm. the the beat, the instrumentation. Do I do what? Sorry. Do you, do you get involved with? Oh all that? Yeah. yeah. So okay. so by the time of Shobeka says one, I had been. I say this that I was so scared. Oh, I can't really. I can't. I can't remember his name. 
one of the big earlier ones. I, mm. I always mention his name. Mm. I was so scared of him that I never uttered a word to him. Mm. Mm. And so when I went to record Ostrobekasa, Danbasi was that high. And so I went in scared of him. Mm -hmm. And he relaxed for me. But the one I was very scared of a year later was George Forrest of Blessed Memory. Mm. He walked in, Auntie. <laughs> and so by the time we sat down to do the song, he relaxed me and he played. I didn't have much input, but I'll call King David. I'm like, Stop, Ben, I am Franco, so style, be say, mm -hmm. let's say. So at that time, I don't think I had too much input. Mm -hmm. By my third album, Eyewa, um, Dambasi did it, but then Uncle Charles had come in and he would go in and slot in a bit. By work in progress, I was working with Kiwa, mm. and I'll sing onto a phone. I'll mm. send to him. He play a bit and put my voice on it. I'm like, Uncle, and Kim, Prophet, it's like this. And that's when I started getting into mm. what we really want. Mm. And you know, he'll bounce it back. I'll listen to it. Can we do this? Can we do that? All right, I'll come to the studio on this day. I'll come and do my vocals. We'll go in. We'll do some change. So from now, from that time on, I'm proper hands on. So mm. after after you got abreast with um, the. The, the production styles and all that. Did that affect how you made music holistically? Like maybe when you were just writing first, mm. you know, it's like there's a beat and I have to adapt to it, I have mm. to write. Mm. But now that you are abreast You know what? The... I don't write to a beat. That's the thing. Okay. Wow. Uh, so That's why so let, me, let me ask the question simply. Your creative process. So I, I get a message. Mm. That, you know, I, I get a message. I'm, I've been through a situation. Mm -hmm. I get a message. The message is bubbling through my mind. And one day, I burst into a chorus mm. or a starting line. It sits well with me because I don't play. Mm -hmm. That's my handicap. I don't play any instrument. Maybe it's an advantage. You think so? Yeah. You play something I know people vocal. who play and are not good with the... Maybe. It, it, it and so I say that maybe my strength is lyrics. Yeah, the focus on the lyrics. Maybe that's what's yeah. helped me because yeah. then, then I would just... I get a line and then... If it sits well with me, quickly I pick my phone, I sing on it. And I carry on or I might leave it when I get a thoughts block. But I'll always go back and see what, what I'm doing with it until I'm, I'm almost there and I call him. Prophet, I da 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 da. Okay, Fabra, superstar, Fabra. So I'll send it. And sometimes you go and, well, before I give to, before I give to Kiwa, I'll send it to King David. Mm -hmm. If it's good. Mm -hmm. The next thing you say, it's a hit, man. <laughs> <laughs> how often do you if get blocks? If it's not, well, how often do I what? Do you get blocks? Creative blocks. Creative blocks. Block, oh, yeah, you, you, you get it, that. You, mm. you get it, especially when I'm busy on that road. Yeah. Okay. So just, it's been about music, stage, performances, business of the music and everything. Yeah. All right. All right. Great. And family and all that. So um, let me just throw us back to, so if none of this had happened, what would what would you be involved in? Oh, I can answer. Answer that for uh, me. Diana is a nurse. She's a professional nurse. A professional nurse. Okay. I, if you ask okay. Diana now, I so, ask so her what, what is it? GTR what, company. Let me tell you what I asked Diana. GTR company. company. You know what I asked Diana? Let me tell you the answer. I still remember today. I said, so, Diana, how do you manage to be a nurse and you're back on almost every flight to perform? He says, please. Don't ask me that question. <laughs> Let's talk about the music. I've always wondered. I don't know why she shies away from answering that. You know, but I've always wondered, you know, how... So I was asking, I said, so do you seek permission when you're coming? How do you even do that? Mm -hmm. okay. She didn't want to answer. Maybe today let me, she will answer. Let me answer it for uh -huh. you. Everybody listen. Uh -huh. <laughs> so when I started um, doing songs, I was, um, I was on a work permit mm -hmm. in the UK. And so I had a limited number of days I could stay outside of the UK. Mm. That explains why I was here for five days to record a whole mm. album. Because I needed to go, get myself ready, and come and do promotion. Mm. So I couldn't afford to just... In those times, I was working full-time. Wow. And so I'd only come in a week and go. Mm. And I had to be at work. And so these are the answer I give to that question, how you do it is. Now, as music is getting up, Nursing is mm. gradually. Mm. I haven't been to work in a while. Wow. You see, but in the past, I had Don't to. Worry, so, they, were on, they were on strike. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the past, I was doing more nursing 
not much singing. But now we, I go in as and when. Mm. It's not. It's so nice it's, when your mother is a nurse, you know, like, you know, yeah, I guarantee that she, what, you, if you the slightest scratch on your they know what, they to, know what to give uh, to you. Like, what if your father is a doctor? <laughs> 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 Like I, I had an aunt who was a nurse who we, we, we lived next door, so I knew medicine. Oh. At age six, I knew medicine. Oh, we knew chloroquine and camoquine. You know, you know, you know I don't know camoquine. As a child, if they give you camoquine. It's it's bitter, yeah. isn't it? Oh my god. As a child, when I was sick, my mother would say, mm. That was my mother. Now, when I'm sick, my daughter will go, Mommy, have you taken medicine? I'm like, oh, Jesus. Yeah. Why not giving you to my children? I'm giving them medicine. Lord, help me. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay, so are you going to say something? I was going yeah. to. I, was, okay. I, I just would, because I think you didn't really answer the question of the... Um, the state of the Ghanaian gospel industry. Oh, yeah, yes, because okay, yeah. we didn't finish that. Yes. And so we, we've grown. Right. That, that's, that's the point I was trying to make, that mm. we had moved from proper all nights recording mm -hmm. to quick computer age recording. Right. That was when we would do a recording and put effects on and mm. very quick every day there was a song being released because it was anybody could sit in their room, have a computer and record a song. Mm. Right. Then we changed, came back to live as in proper intentionality with, with the kind of sound we wanted. This, our videos changed, our mood of even marketing mm. changed. Miss G was saying there was the era where somebody who's an investor, you went to the studio, you sang, you gave the Buy song to him, he paid you, you walked away. <laughs> now it's not like that. It's not like that any longer. You're, you're behind that song from production to promotion to delivery to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. everything. Um, it has it's good and bad. Mm. Good in the sense that you know what is going on. It's not like Obia mm. It's not like you know yeah. you don't. It's yeah. not like Watom more than Okachire. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's none of, none of those that, stories yeah. happening. Um, yes, it would be good if we had record labels that would work, but we've we've come from very far, mm. and it's getting better. Do, do, so you, we'll get... do, do you think? Do you think that? Because um, we had this conversation not too long, but do you think that the churches? No, wait. Let's do it one after the other. What, what? I know where you are going to, but I want to start to somewhere before you go. Before, I don't want to. If you give the answer, what I want to ask, I can't ask. Okay, okay, then you, can, you can have my mic. So, <laughs> do you feel like uh, there are a lot of young folks in the Church of Pentacles, where you belong, mm -hmm. that are looking up to you to say, I want to grow on your wings, and you have that constant pressure from them that, oh, Dinah, I wish that you put me on your song. I wish that you help me do this. And so, like, because you, you come in the name of Church of Pentacles, the feel like they're entitled to you and all that you, you all that you can give them maybe yeah. in their minds that you can come in with <laughs> um I, I wouldn't say i get that a lot i actually am on the lookout mm. for somebody who's doing well that i can give them a pat in the back but i'm i'm looking at you it's not just your music when I am approaching you, and there are young ladies, young men, that I, whenever I get the chance to approach them, I'm like, what is your lifestyle? What are you doing? What is your relationship with God like? Let's start from there. Mm. Because it's, it's tougher at the top. Mm. It can be lonely at the top. Mm. You have to have a base. Mm. And so it's very important that you get grounded. Let's handle that before we put you on the big stage. Mm. And so these are things that I am rather looking, looking out, out for, for those. Yeah. You get the... A few of them would say, oh, can I just open the show for you? Can you just put me on to open the show? And I'm like, we have other young ones that we're helping. Can we do it in, in bits? Yeah. I, have, I call Christiana Tifwa mm. because her song is blessing me. Mm. And when I, felt, I went to a, a Pensa conference, she was called to come and sing. She just started. This song is from my heart. Mm. You are amazing. Mm. You are a good, good God. Mm -hmm. This life is yours. I thought, wow. Mm. It hits you. It hits me. Yeah. And since then, if I stand on stage and I lift that song, I will sign a disclaimer. It's not mine, mm. but it's for a young lady who's doing amazing. And it's so funny. Anywhere I stand to sing, somebody will come and tell her. I was in America. I sang it. Somebody sent it to her that Diana mentioned your name. Mm. Huh. Mm. <laughs> So, and then that that you've gotten some stats. But then, then Dana is lucky, you know. Dana is lucky because that means that there's no sense of entitlement. There are no people in your DM. So you get, oh, you like you don't want to help them. Say, no, so you you attach it to Pentecost. Mm. 
Yeah. But I won't say that Church of Pentecost is giving me pressure. No, not the church. I mean the As in the, the, the yeah. congregants, the young. Somebody will bring you. I want somebody to. And sometimes the question I ask them, have you been to any of my events? Mm. And they go, no. I'm like, okay. <laughs> mm. So if I put you on you, will you come? Mm. Yes. Mm. 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 I yeah. said, mm. okay. So they don't want to invest in what you're looking yeah, for. Exactly. Visa I denied. said this the other time that mm. there's a man called Noel Robinson in the UK sings gospel. I first went to his event in um, this place where Hackney. Okay. Somebody said, this guy's doing a concert. And let me take you. So I bought a ticket. I went there. I sat at the back. I marveled mm. at what was going on, the level, the production, the delivery. I hadn't seen anything like that before. But I was glad I bought a ticket to go mm -hmm. partake in it. Fast forward, years later, I was his headline act. Wow. Ooh. Did I feel entitled? Oh, yes. Oh. I have paid my dues. Mm. Mm. I had invested in it. Yeah. I, 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 I stood on that so stage and I praised God mm -hmm. that the stage I admired so much, I was actually standing on it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, hmm, I said more. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, so uh, what I was going to ask you was, um, do you think that the churches are doing enough to support, you know, budding gospel artists, you know, in terms of putting them at, at the platform they deserve to be? Because you, you, you were lucky to have your husband... Um, King David, and then the let rest me, of Let me stop you right there. Before I got married to my husband, I was on a lot of pinnacle stages. Okay. So they because created an environment for you? I started off in Sunday school. Mm. Mm. I sang in Sunday school until Children's Day when I was asked to sing to the adults. Mm. And they realized that, oh, she has a good voice. voice yeah. And so they put me on, on Sunday adult church. Wow. Mm -hmm. I sang there. God did his thing. And at a district meeting, hmm. I was put on there. It started, when I say it's been organic, it's been proper organic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sunday school, local church, district, regional, national. It's been state. And when I, when I was in my, even now in my local church, when I get to my local church, I'm not Diana Hamilton. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I'm dying at saying, mm. I'm to say, you want to buy a show, or be a way, and I say, who wants to take no years, you Diana. And I am Diana Hamel, I'm not Diana Hamel, I'm Diana. Yeah. It be from your joy, it be you say, that is home. Mm. And I tell everyone, have a home. Mm. Because in your home, you're not a boss. Mm. But in your home, you help clean, mm. you help cook, and so you can eat some of the food. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. But when you go out, when they are cooking, oba, you you can't take it mm. because it's not yours. You didn't help cook it. Mm. I think we we need to walk the walk, let it grow organically. Like I said, I sang in Sunday school. Somebody saw it. It stages. It comes time. Time and being consistent is what helps. I think what what uh, the arguments for a lot of us who. I, I subscribe, uh, unfortunately, to to the school of thought that you know churches who have done a lot more for artists in their church. Okay. So there have been somebody, there's been somebody who has gone through all that rudiment, mm. but they are just looking for a break. However, the pastor won't give him that platform. They would rather take an artist who is already established by another okay. and place them on that platform. More like they are not believing in them. Then I, okay. I, I use the Pastor Chris as an example okay. of how we have the Sinaj, Moses Blaze, yeah. Joe Praise and all of them coming from mm -hmm. uh, the love um, uh, the love world uh, yes, something. Yeah. Yeah. So how oh, Ghanaian pastors are not looking at that. And I think uh, Sonny has that said that me? to me in an interview okay. before that he wishes that we could do more. Exactly. So I, that's what I think. That's the conversation let, we had let this me, week. Let me, let me answer that. You were here when the chairman of the Church of Pentecost was giving me this support. The church is giving me this support. Um, yes, they could, have, they could do more if they had the know-how. Mm -hmm. And sometimes oh, with exactly. a church know -how, yes. as mm -hmm. big as Church of Pentecost, maybe they are worried mm -hmm. that how many people can they extend this is uh, this is just me thinking. Yeah, yeah definitely. Because this is me. One, when you do for one, one and you don't do for another, mm. what are they going to? What is going to happen? Also, I don't think in Love World is just Sinatch 
mm. and Moses bless and these people there there'll be other people who think why is it always about Moses mm. bless yeah L let's be careful yeah. mm -hmm. the grass might look greener mm. on the other side but when you get in you might see patches mm -hmm. and so it, they could do more Maybe they don't have the know-how. Exactly. Maybe they are overwhelmed. That's, mm. that's, Maybe they are worried that if that's... they start for this one, can they do for all? Mm. Yes. And they don't know how. When you give me the platform, they maybe think, okay, then I will give her best. Right. But when they give to Miss G, might... maybe she thinks exactly. it was just by by Chalabuku not saying yeah. I support Miss G, mm. the numbers should come in. Automatic. Yeah. And when it doesn't, Trouble. she's wondering mm. what happened. Mm. I don't know. I, I don't have a clear cut answer to this. I think, but yeah. touch I think we need, all the yeah, yeah, I think we need to know how it's a it's conversation good. we need to carry on having. Mm. I think recently there's been a group that a church has actually brought out. Yeah, I think yeah. I stand uh, the to be corrected. people have the yeah. better revival choir. That's one. Mm. And there's another one the that... Keepers house, the guys I the think so. so. Mm. Keepers music. I yeah, think so. For also, them, they put a whole group together. Yeah, like a man. Do you see what I mean? Is that now Pentecost has the, ch the voice of Pentecost? Oh, yeah. wow! That's at every event they're ministering, and <laughs> we're looking for numbers. At num mm. The numbers are there yeah. at con conventions, council meetings, apostolization, and these people are there flourishing. Mm. They might not come at three music for an interview as yet, but that break would come. So maybe, maybe Diana Hamilton is not getting Pentecost saying we are the label. Mm. Mm. But just recently, the chairman invited me and appreciated me, gave me an award for everything we're doing outside. Hmm. I wow. think that's... But yeah, last... outside. Uh, well, our time is up. Uh, up, up, up. Yeah, yeah, we are like, uh, we've, we've actually exceeded our... <laughs> Before we exceed it, let me talk about my tickets yeah. and everything. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. ask me these questions, and you know, let me talk about my tickets. Please no, talk please about my tickets. Yeah. <laughs> more for it. More for it. But yes, please, um, it's at Perez Dome on Sunday the on 19th. Sunday. Yeah. Time is 5 p.m. Make sure you grab yourself a ticket. Single is 60 Ghana cities. Double is 110. Yeah. VIP is 150. Family of five is 250. There's a special ticket we call the premium ticket. That's giving people the chance to support the Diana Hamilton Foundation and wow. everything else that we do. Okay. We just recently did a donation in Kumasi and a whole lot of things that we do. That you have to call a number. Okay. The number is 054-690-7473. Okay. Okay. 054-690-7473. If you want a ticket, jump on my website, annahamilton.com. You can get a ticket. Or there's a short code, star seven two five. 8080 hash 8080 star 725 star yeah 8080 hash star 725 star 8080 hash thank you brilliant thank you very much we, we have, you know it's, it's sold out right oh, oh yeah. in the name of Jesus <laughs> thank you so much uh, thanks for having a, me uh, probably a very very long schedule but thank you so much for granting us this interview we are truly honoured and um, wishing you all the best thank you and uh, in our own small way 19th will also support you need to come alright all right. you don't want support from the back want support from the from front, front. <laughs> 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 on that note we are out have an amazing weekend wishing you all the best as well we'll catch you back here same time on monday god willing and we are out